Afternoon commute through downtown Dallas looking a lot better than it did this morning. An abandoned semi parked near the Cavill Federal Building earlier today prompted a security scare just a week after a deadly shooting there. CBS 11's Robbie Owens is live downtown with what we know in this case. Robbie. Well, Gilma, it's all clear now, but as you mentioned, once again, the Monday morning commute began with these streets blocked, police swarming the area. We now know that it was all a false alarm, and yet in spite of the inconvenience, we know that a false alarm is still the best case scenario. We've all heard it before. See something? Like an unattended semi parked near a federal building. It was enough to uh, give the officers uh, pause and say, hey, well, maybe we need to be careful on this one. Say something. And as we navigate life on high alert, the law enforcement response can look something like this. It's chaotic. It's, it's definitely different from my regular commute, but um, I'm still making it, so I'm getting to where I'm going, but it's definitely different. Officers spotted some unusual wiring in the truck and called for the bomb squad. As a precaution, several downtown streets near the Cabell Federal Building were closed off and some nearby buildings were evacuated. This is like the second week in a row that we got like Monday closed down roads and everything, so it's kind of crazy. It's happened so soon. Just one week ago, a masked gunman launched an attack on the courthouse and was shot and killed by federal police. No one else was injured, but security is clearly still top of mind for workers, commuters, and the community. You know, we're living in different times these days, so you can never be too careful. Definitely, especially since what happened last week, so I, I feel better that they're out here securing everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm definitely glad they're taking it seriously. Now, when contacted, the company that owns the truck told investigators that the driver was on, quote, extended break when that truck was left in a no parking zone here at a federal building. So far, police haven't said whether this was a mistake or something more serious and whether they will pursue charges. Live in downtown Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. All right, Robbie, thank you very much for the update.